G'day guys, Dave here at Rendezvous HQ. Hope you're all doing real well. Today we're gonna to have a little bit of a look at how to do the wiring correctly on your winch install. Most important things, make sure your wires are set up correctly. So the first cable is your really long red one. That one is going directly to your isolator and from your isolator to your battery. The next ones, your short red one, your short yellow and your short blue are all going to the terminal points on your motor. Your thin black earth cable will go to somewhere in your engine bay. And this one, which I've already connected, this big earth cable has to go to your chassis. All right, next step, really simple. Connect the dots, blue to blue, yellow to yellow, red to red. Make sure you dip them up nice and tight. Don't over tension them, but just get enough to make sure they're not gonna move around like that. And of course, make sure you put your little terminal caps back over the top, just to keep a little bit of the dirt, dust and water off them. One other thing to note, when we're mounting the control box, a lot of the bars these days got spotlights already on them. What we can't do then is fit our control box up top. So instead, a lot of people are either mounting in the wings or up in the bonnet. In this case, we're gonna mount it up, up on the side here. It's always a good idea to use the included V bracket. We'll sit up here nicely once connected up. It means the lines are all nice and tidy, kept up in here. We'll zip tie them off and make sure they're all nice and tidy. But it means we're not stretching these cables, which is very important because we don't want to put stress on the terminals or the control box. Day two of chucking the winch into the brand new bull bar here. Come over here and we'll have a look what have we been up to. So first thing you'll see, as we did yesterday, we've got all the wires connected down here. We've also connected our small earth for the control box. And if you look up here, we've also connected our power leads. So our power going to the isolator and our earth going to the winch. So up here is where we've got our isolator. Nice and easy to access, but still out of the way of everything. You'll see that we've run our line straight across the bull bar here. Nice and easy to access if anything does need to be replaced. Now, the important thing to note with the isolator is that it comes with two keys. Keep one in the glove box, keep one in the center console. At some point, you probably will lose one. I know I have. It's very important to have this. Without it, you can't turn your isolator on and you can't access your winch. So under here, our fairly is hit nicely, nicely in the middle of that gap where our rope's running out. That ensures that we don't have any issues. We don't have any rubbing of the rope. We don't have any catching, fraying or tearing or damaging the rope, which will then potentially fail when you need it the most. Remember, keep your remote handy, because if you're like me and you've mounted your control box inside the bar, you're gonna need this to get your winch in and out. Simple to pair. Once you turn it on, press and hold the in and out buttons a couple of seconds till it stops flashing. That'll pair with your remote on your control box, and it's as simple as out we go, and in we go again. Just remember, while we can do it ourselves, if you're confident, we do recommend jumping on our website at www.runofawinch.com.au and jumping on our dealer locator to find your local installer. They will not only be able to supply it, but fit it on the spot for you to get you out on the tracks. Give us a like on this video, follow us on the socials, we'll see you next time.